This morning, a victory at the nation's highest court for gun safety advocates. In an 8-1 decision, the Supreme Court upholding a ban on guns for those under domestic violence restraining orders. I think the court is, is moving in the right direction when it comes to gun violence. The case brought by a Texas man with a history of domestic violence who argued the Second Amendment guarantees his right to have a gun. In the decision, conservative justices at odds. With the opinion of the court, Chief Justice John Roberts writing, an individual found by a court to pose a credible threat to the physical safety of another may be temporarily disarmed consistent with the Second Amendment. Justice Clarence Thomas alone dissenting, writing, today's decision puts at risk the Second Amendment rights of many more. This statute actually ends up disarming a bunch of law-abiding or, or otherwise good people uh, that you might not expect uh, when you first look at it. The executive director of the NRA's lobbying division says the Supreme Court's narrow opinion offers no endorsement of red flag laws or of the dozens of other unconstitutional laws that the NRA is challenging across the country. This case is a major win for survivors of domestic violence, like Lachey Kraychan, shot five times by her ex-boyfriend in 1996. The bullets are still in her body decades later. Although I might say it's a victory, um, there's so many funerals that were planned last month. And we can't get them back.